Welcome to the Taste Test, and we are revisiting Japan this week. Thank you to Nori, who was kind enough to send some amazing Japanese items, and we're going to start with something that I don't know actually how to pronounce it, because there's no English on this at all. So I'll just hold it up and call it a bird that appears to be coming out of a chocolate egg. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what this is, so <laughs> I'm going to sit here and suffer as I try to open the blasted thing. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> um, I think I'll do an edit point here. After a bit of fiddling, I managed to get the chocolate bird egg thing open, and what we found inside are these little chocolate balls, so... It's some kind of a chocolate coated nut. I can't say I like it very much. It's not very sweet. I don't know. Hmm. I can't say I like that too much. Weird. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what nut it is. I think it's a peanut. But I'm not exactly sure. It's got a slightly bitter aftertaste, so I'm not quite sure what that is. Hmm. Uh, not a fan of that one, I don't think. Next one. Again, I'm not quite sure what it is. It says Bacchus on the front. It looks like it's got caramel on the inside, but it also has a bottle of what looks like some kind of liquor called Bacchus. So, I don't know. We'll soon find out, I guess. <laughs> it's wrapped in foil, that's always a good sign. Right. Aha, oh, it's even on a little tray. There we go. So we'll try one of these. Mmm! <laughs> oh, yes, it's definitely a liqueur chocolate. <laughs> Mm. I think it's some kind of a whiskey. Oh, that's actually surprisingly strong. <laughs> God, it's lucky I'm not driving anywhere in the next couple of hours. I'd set up a breathalyzer if I got pulled over. Eh, what the hell, I'll have another go. <laughs> mm. Last but not least on our journey to Japan is quite possibly the weirdest combination of things I've ever seen. This is fettuccine gummy, lemon flavoured, and it says bourbon at the top for some reason. So this is bourbon and lemon flavoured fettuccine gummy worms. I, I, I'm not sure what this is. So I'm going to open this up and have no idea what on earth I'm actually getting myself into with this one. Wow, it's definitely lemon. Maybe bourbon's the name of the company that makes it. It looks like little strips of fettuccine, but it's got, I think it's coated in sugar. Oh, wow, that's lemon. Mmm. Okay, it's not coated in sugar. <laughs> it's like citric acid or something. It's really, really bitter. It's very sour. Mmm. <laughs> it's really strange. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it's setting off those glands there when you have something really sour. <laughs> um, I have no idea what to say to this. I'm assuming it's called fettuccine because it's actually sort of slightly fettuccine shaped. But beyond that, there is absolutely no relevance to it whatsoever. Bourbon, there's no bourbon flavour or anything to it. So I'm assuming that's the name of the company, though. I wouldn't have thought a Japanese candy company called Bourbon makes sense. That is intensely lemon. That is probably the most lemon thing I've ever eaten, including lemons. So <laughs> it's very, very odd. All right, well, scores time. Um, this is a really weird one. So I'm going to give... I think the winner's crown is going to have to go to the Bacchus liqueur chocolate thing. Um, I actually really like that. I like liqueur chocolates. I don't eat them very often, but... Um, 
it's something that I tend to only have around Christmas time, so it's like an occasional treat. So I really enjoyed having that. So I'll give that one 8 out of 10. Um, I'm going to give 8 out of 10 for the fettuccine lemon thingamajigs because that is an intense, intense lemon flavour. I have never tried anything quite like that. That is so bizarre. Um, why it's called fettuccine is beyond me. I'm assuming based on the shape. The chicken coming out of the chocolate egg thing, nut thing, um, I really didn't like that. It wasn't very sweet. It was quite bitter. Um, I'm going to give it a two. Ouch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that was an interesting tour of Japan. Thank you very much to Nori, who was kind enough to send these Japanese items over the last couple of videos. If you wanted to send something in for the taste test, you're more than welcome to. Please feel free to check out the address. It's in the video description underneath the video on YouTube. It's also on my YouTube channel page. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Lots of love to you all and more taste test goodies coming soon.